Who can we get if we work with some type of PR agency on our podcast? So I I did not personally work with any PR agency. So I okay. didn't pay for my podcast, at least. I was working mm-hmm. with a PR person more for TV appearances and stuff, but not for my show. Um, but what I did do is I connected with a lot of PR agents. So I connected on LinkedIn, which was a great space for connecting with PR agents. And then they, you know, they would see in my profile that I have my show. This is what I do. I actually, after connecting with certain PR agents, started getting pitched more guests. Um, So that was really great. But I developed relationships with these PR agents over time. And that just kind of happened again, through the initial, like reach out with a message, make sure if you are reaching out to someone, you do a personalized message. Don't just click the connect request, or you could, but you might not get the connection. So that was um, the, the first step was just making those connections. But then also if I wanted a certain guest on, I would figure out who their PR agent was. And I would reach out to their PR agent with my pitch. And, you know, if you're looking to have a guest on play around with your pitch, see what works. And I know now where I'm at, I get a lot of pitches for my show and certain ones. Um, I don't want to read it. Like, it's just like, if it's too dense and there's like too much information, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's just a little overwhelming. So I have found what I like to receive as far as pitches. And then I've tried to tailor my pitches to that angle where like, I'm getting the really catchy things up front that'll grab their attention. Always mention if you have a personal connection with the person you're asking to come on, whether it's, you know, we have some mutual connections who are, these are the people that are, we have mutual connections. They've been on my show. That always helps. Um, So if you have a guest on, you can see who are they connected with? Who's following them on social media or any of those people, would they be great guests? And then, you know, maybe I'll reach out to them. Oh, I just had this person on my show. I see you're connected. I'd love to have you on. So I think it's just navigating it, remembering that you're talking to a human being and don't be a robot about it. Just be trying, like take a deep breath, be natural. I think that's what works best for me when I'm receiving pitches. If it's like someone's talking to me in a comfortable way, less like a robot, more like a person. <laughs>